If you've ever been in the gaming space then you've probably heard the term LOD, level of detail, and this refers to the principle of having a single object with multiple meshes accompanying it, with each mesh having lower resolution than the previous, essentially creating a level of detail within the object. So when you're closer to the camera you get a really high crisp looking 3D object and the further you go away the lower quality that object becomes. The reason is you don't want super high quality uh, high polygon models to be in your game at all times because that's just going to eat up your entire memory and it's just not useful because you, you can't even see them properly from a distance. So level of detail is really a optimization system and let's implement it right now. So what we need to do first of all is to choose a 3D model. I've chosen the Suzanne because it's got a lot of polygons that you can mess with. You can't really use a cube because that's already super low resolution. Now when we go down to the Armory Properties tab you can see we have a section here called Armory LOD and now we can generate our own LODs and it automatically creates the new 3D models. In our case we have three versions by default but we can tinker with the settings and whatnot. It automatically makes these things uh, work properly so you can see in our modifier section it's automatically decimated a bunch of our meshes. We can turn on the visibility in the viewport individually by going to the visibility and selecting viewport and then you can see the decimated object, the lower resolution object. It doesn't look super low quality yet and you can make it even lower quality in the modifiers by just lowering the slider and it decimates the mesh even more. So you can go ahead and tinker with each mesh individually by unhiding it and showing it in the viewport. Just remember that each model should be lower resolution than the other one, if not it doesn't make sense. Now that we have all this put in place you can see that we have our selection of objects that are looking pretty good and it's pretty well optimized so we can actually go ahead and press play. And now when we move towards the object or further away from the object it automatically changes out those meshes for the lower resolution ones depending on the room that object occupies on the screen. But we do have a bunch of other methods that are pre-enabled inside of arm 3 d and other game engines in general that allow you to optimize even more. Because there's another camera trick called camera culling and essentially what it means is that it, it hides things that the camera isn't looking at. But one last thing to know is that uh, even inside of Blender, not just the game engines, we have a near and far distance. So we have sort of a, a render zone uh, between what's close to the camera and what's too far away from the camera that stuff won't be rendered so it's only in this section you can modify that slider directly in the camera settings. Those are a couple ways to optimize your game inside of Armour 3D if you're making something like a, an open world game or just an FPS game or anything that's more complex with more uh, high resolution 3D models having level of detail uh, implemented is almost unavoidable. Thank you so much for watching, if you want to submit your own blend files that we can talk about or if you have a video that you want to upload to the channel, contact me with this email address and we'll get you set up. That's it for me and I hope to see you again someday.